Welcome to the Visual Distortion Movie Review Show on the Jekyll69 channel reviewing the 2015 movie Spongebob A Sponge Out of Water. This magic book, any evil plan I write comes true. But to harness his power, I need the final page that is protected deep below the surface by one legendary hero. Will you stop playing that tiny piano? Sorry. Attack! I think we have a few minutes before he gets here. Boy, he's right on top of us! Burn the door! Bullseye! From Paramount Animation and Nickelodeon Movies. That pirate's gonna destroy our world! Aren't you overreacting a bit? Patrick, what are you doing? Vandalizing stuff. Isn't that your house? To save their world. Come on, team! Let's get that book back! They must come. Ow. To ours. What is this place? Uh-oh! In 2015... <gasps> a giant hairy porpoise! Beast! We need to get these guys back in the water! Back in the water! <laughs> Ugh, this place smells awful! Comes the 3D motion picture event. So hot. Oh, where have you been all my life? <laughs> this is uncomfortable. And so extreme. There's the book! Now it's our turn to rewrite the story. You need new pens. Those guys must work out. I think they're in my spin class. <laughs> All right, here comes the pain. Ah! It ain't good. Huh? They're beautiful. The SpongeBob movie, Sponge Out of Water, in 3D. Mr. Super Awesomeness, take him down. Maybe we should have picked a better superpower for you, Patrick. Starring SpongeBob SquarePants, Patrick Starfish, Squidworth Tentacles, and Mr. Krabs, along with Plankton and Sandy the Squirrel. So I was expecting something not as good as the first Spongebob movie. And in many ways it isn't. It doesn't have the adult humour that we saw on the first movie, nor does it have the hype. But then again, what would you expect from a sequel? So it doesn't always have the hype that the first one gets, but it is... A good movie it's a funny film it's brilliant to watch you could watch it again and again it really doesn't matter it is still Spongebob and the comedy is just still as good and as fresh as you'd expect from when you first started watching Spongebob on the TV 10 or so years ago it really has been that long and to see him come to the big screen again but this time in a 3D form is interesting and new. However, they don't take it too far with the 3D format. I thought that they were going to get out of water pretty much instantly at the beginning of the movie and then for the rest of the time it would be a lot of live action and 3D graphics and kind of ruin the whole cartoon bit of Spongebob but that makes it wacky and zany and crazy however they only spend about 15 or 20 minutes actually out of the water and that's right at the end of the movie the rest of the movie is all cartoon and all still based under the sea with Spongebob which is fantastic so they haven't taken it too far they haven't taken it over the top they haven't tried to make it gimmicky to bring people in to see the movie because they don't need to because it is Spongebob and everybody loves him and it is just a funny movie 
there's no particular standout jokes for me. Uh, the storyline is alright, but it's still primarily Plankton's trying to get the Krabby Patty, which they've pretty much been running with for the last 10 or so years and even in the first movie. I know Plankton is the arch enemy and the bad guy person of Spongebob, kind of. I mean, he never really is truly bad. They try and make him out to be truly bad, but he never really is. They still have to have the sentimental values and the family values within a family movie that people expect to see and to have in there. So they do keep it all in there. Like I say, the humour isn't as adult in places as the first one was, which did definitely have a few adult bits in it. But this one just has more slapstick, it's more zany, and it's just fantastic. And it still does manage to shock you. For a start, it has Antonio Banderas in it. And you, I didn't even know it was him for ages, not until like right at the end of the movie when he starts to go a bit Zorro on you. And you're like, holy crap, it's Antonio Banderas. Because I, you know, I, I don't like to get too overwhelmed with the movie that so I go see. I do like to be a bit surprised by the cast and the characters that they have in there. I don't want to ruin them too badly for myself. And seeing Antonio Banderas doing his Zorro act again was weird it's it's just a spot-on movie it also has Matt Berry in it as one of the major and more weirder characters for this movie if you do not know who Matt Berry is you will probably most certainly know his voice and he's an English actor that has appeared on such thing as Garth Marenghi's Dark Place he's also been in the Mighty Boosh he was also in the IT crowd as well, where Chris O'Dowd and Richard Aoda started from. So they have been quite good and successful British series that he has been on. So like I say, if you don't know who he is, it doesn't matter too much. I did hear that the Hoff was going to make another appearance in this movie, but he doesn't. He's not in it, which is a bit of a shame, because seeing David Hasselhoff in the first Spongebob movie cracked me up almost as much as seeing Antonio Banderas in this one did, especially when you finally figure out who he is, which character he's playing. I mean, I'm sure if you haven't seen it already, you'll probably go, well, there he is, it's obvious to see. But not if you're not looking out for it, I don't think it is. He's, he's such a brilliant and funny actor. I mean, this movie is definitely a four out of five movie. You have to definitely watch the SpongeBob SquarePants movie to a sponge out of water, especially if you are a fan of the SpongeBob movie that they released a couple of years ago. And definitely if you're a fan of SpongeBob himself, including the series, you, this movie is just a barrel of laughs, pure entertainment, it's family friendly, it's still got the bits for the adults in there and the graphics are good, the storyline's great, it's weird, it's bizarre, it's everything you expect from Spongebob Squarepants. Thank you very much for watching the Visual Distortion Movie Review Show on the Jekyll69 channel reviewing the 2015 movie Spongebob A Sponge Out of Water. This is the Jekyll69 channel where interesting shit happens every day. So remember to subscribe and comment to our channel for interesting shit to do with the world of technology. Hits on Twitter. Film Reviews, My Life with Android, and Kickstarter. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe and comment. And until next time, keep your shit interesting.